It was a dark and stormy night. I had just wrapped up the Maltese Falcon case. Suddenly, in walks trouble in high heels. Little did I know that my life was about to be turned upside down. You have to help me! My husband is missing! He works at Acme Biology Research Labs, and he's been studying those strange meteor strikes in Arizona. You know the ones with the green flames that happened a week ago? Yeah, I heard about that. He left for work at 6.52 a.m., and then he called me at 1.15 p.m., but the call was cut short. I heard screaming and strange noises in the background. I think something terrible has happened. I'm just so frightened. All right, calm down. I need the facts. Let's start with your name. My name is Coral P. Last, and my husband's name is Barry Last. My name is Detective Smith. I'll help any way I can. But let's see the address to Acme Labs. I decided that the first thing I should do is head up to the labs and see what I could find. This is a breaking news update. A strange meteor spot in Arizona last week have turned out to be alien transport pods. There have been several eyewitness accounts of humanoid life forms attacking key science and research facilities across the country. The most recent attack was reported at our own Acme Biology Research Labs. The US government has taken control of the facility and is asking. People love a good news story. Has the whole world gone crazy? Strange. How did Miss Last beat me here? It's about time you got here. Took you long enough. Sorry to keep you waiting, Mrs. L Mrs. Last. This is lead researcher Dr. Jones from NASA. We don't have time for introductions. We identified the cell and we found that it has many more plant traits than we previously expected. In particular, the chloroplasts. Its squadron discovered that the aliens are more active during the night than during the day. The aliens lay themselves out flat along the ground, seemingly in order to sun themselves. The aliens are seen wearing gas masks and drinking lots of water. Furthermore, the aliens are covered in green scales, which is mainly due to the chloroplast. What about my husband? Are we doing no further investigation into the incident? Ma'am, please, we're doing everything possible to cover your husband. <sighs> it appeared our damsel was not entirely human. Oh, sorry, sir, I didn't see you. We made a, we had a major discovery, and it, the, how the aliens get their food. They have the chloroplast in that they lay in the sunlight, and then they get their food that way. And that's why we never see them eat. We also found out that the aliens get their energy from many, many mitochondria found in the alien cells. Mitochondria performs a process called cellular respiration. In cellular respiration, oxygen and glucose are used to create energy and water. Perhaps we can block their means of photosynthesis. But that would be too hard. But what about their cellular respiration? 
Hey, Professor, here's the cyanide you ordered. Where do you want it? Oh, good, thanks. Can you put it over there? Wow, that's a coincidence. What about the cyanide do? This, this blocks one of the steps in cellular respiration and could keep the mitochondria in their cells from reproducing ATP and I'm gonna go figure out what she's doing.